Let me talk a little bit about general development of, of the brain. <clears throat> we tend to have a perception that our child's potential is determined uh, before birth. And that kind of, unfortunately, the, the perception often is for parents that your job is to see that your kid eats reasonably well, does his homework, and doesn't get hit by a truck. And if you do that, the child is going to achieve his innate potential. Uh, the, re the reality is a long ways from that. Because the reality essentially is that at the time of birth, most of any child's brain flat out doesn't work. And it's actually through a process of stimulating the brain that the brain, the brain develops. Now you can see this pretty graphically just in the physical growth of your child's brain. You know, your baby starts off with this little skull about this big, all right, this little brain, and over the course of a few years, it grows to something about that big, all right? Well, what happened to that brain? Did it get older? Is that why it grew? No. Matter of fact, there really is, and I'm still looking to find something good about getting older, but it <clears throat> for sure doesn't grow your brain, all right? <laughs> Stimulation makes your brain grow. And where you can see this is in the case of a brain injured child. If we have a brain injured child whose ability to perceive the world is diminished, they're not processing visual information or auditory information or tactile information, their brain is not being stimulated. And because their brain is not being stimulated, their brains literally do not grow. Okay, the brain stays just as it was at birth until something is done to improve the processing so we can in fact stimulate that brain. So the physical growth of your child's brain is a direct result of stimulation. Now, <clears throat> to understand that piece, the brain cells are made up of these pieces. You have a thing called a neuron and you have connections coming into it and connections going out of it and essentially at birth those neurons have very few connections and essentially are not really wired in and functional in the system. As you stimulate the brain, you actually stimulate the growth of those connections. And the physical growth you see is primarily a growth of those connections wiring in of brain cells. Okay. A whole lot of that happens in the first couple years of life. It kind of diminishes after a number of years. Fortunately, it does, to some degree, continue throughout our lifetimes. But the first years are, are pretty critical years. Now, one of the, uh, <clears throat> I think one of the issues that we have nationally, you know, we talk about the, the decrease in what's happening educationally over the last 50 years. I think there's a lot of factors involved in that. But I think one of, the, one of the really major factors is the loss of the opportunity for specific input in a whole lot of young children. And we've, we've changed perceptions and it's been, it's been kind of shocking. You know, I've been in this business pretty much my whole life and professionally since the late 60s and watching the transitions that have occurred in that, that time period. Uh, at the beginning of my career, one of, one of the realities were we had many, many, many moms who were home. And many, many children who were home. You know, in, in my time, kids never didn't go to school till they were six. They didn't go anywhere until they were six. All right. Primarily, they were home with mom receiving specific input. <clears throat> 